two months after the defeat of Germany, a group of American scientists, led by Dr. Robert Oppenheimer, gathered in a remote area of New Mexico, known as Jornada del Muerto, or Journey of Death. There, at 5.29 a.m. on July 16, 1945, the U.S. military detonated the first ever atomic bomb. But how had the Americans discovered the key to the world's first successful nuclear device? Did they do it themselves? Or might they have had access to the same ancient texts the Germans did that described powerful weapons and extraterrestrial aircraft? It's something that's never denied by people that research this thing. There is a geophysicist in Germany, Dr. Axel Stoll, and he's done a technical translation of some of the ancient Indian texts with an eye towards the idea that it may have had something to do with the German flying disc built during the Second World War. So this idea is a possibility. Perhaps the most amazing technological advancement in the history of mankind was placing a man on the moon. On July 20th, 1969, less than 25 years after the end of World War II, astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin stood on the surface of an actual alien world. But how did such a technological leap forward happen so quickly? And could it possibly have been tied to ancient technologies discovered by Germany? If you think about all the technology we have today, there isn't anything that either wasn't invented during this period of time or greatly enhanced by the Germans during the Reich years. The Germans pretty much invented our modern world. Following the end of World War II, many of Germany's top scientists, engineers, and technicians were captured and brought to America as part of a secret project known as Operation Paperclip. Operation Paperclip was a U.S. government project to bring German scientists to the United States to work either for the military or for industry. They were taken into custody, they were granted asylum, they were brought to the United States. Their horrific war crimes with concentration camp victims were expunged. The most important and influential of these former German scientists was Dr. Werner von Braun, the commander of Germany's Penamunda Space Research Center. Von Braun was really the developer of the V-1 and the V-2 rocket. He was a member of the Nazi party. His commanders were SS generals. He was privy to some of the most secret projects that Nazi Germany was developing during the war. Once in America, von Braun quickly established himself as the leader of the U.S. military's burgeoning rocket program. He would eventually become one of the key architects of NASA. In fact, the first rockets that the United States was launching out in New Mexico were essentially the V-2 rockets. In fact, I think the only real difference was that we'd taken the swastikas and the Iron Crosses off. The whole space race almost seems like a joke as I look back on it, because the, the fact is there wasn't an American rocket program versus a Russian rocket program. It, we had a German rocket program. We didn't have an American rocket program. There's no question as you look at NASA, there's no getting to the moon without von Braun and the other German rocket scientists. In many ways, the American government has just carried on what the Third Reich was doing building underground bases and factories, developing secret technology. And this technology was also in ancient times too. And it's the same technology that was used in the Vimanas. Mm -hmm. 